Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you A future A future A future A future <laughs> All right, so first of all, what do you think? New studio, not quite done yet. I'm still working on it. I'm still working on the layout, uh, getting a little more furniture, some more decorations and stuff like that. And I do have some room to go back, but uh, this is my first video from the new studio. So I'm pretty excited to bring it to you guys. Keep watching to see the changes. I do have a standing desk, so sometimes I'll be sitting, sometimes I'll be standing. I got a special stool here that I'll show you later uh, in a different video. It's called my rule stool. So when I do drone videos about rules, I'm going to use the rule stool. So <laughs> my son came up with that one. But so, uh, you know, when it comes to navigating the rules of flying at night, it's been quite challenging because. There's so ambiguity, so much ambiguity and so much, so many questions about, you know, can you fly at night? Can you fl not fly at night? Well, the fact is that hobbyists, recreational pilots, you can fly at night. Absolutely. If you're not flying for the purpose of making money, you can fly at night. And commercial drone pilots, you can fly at night also, but uh, commercial drone pilots require what's called a daytime waiver, which is kind of backwards. It's actually a night waiver, but it is called a daytime waiver. And the process of getting a daytime waiver has been pretty much useless because it takes like eight months to a year to get one of those. And when you get them, it's still kind of a hassle to fly at night. Well, now, pretty soon, not now, but pretty soon, we're gonna be able to fly at night as commercial drone pilots without getting a waiver. We're gonna to have to take some educational classes and, uh, and, and those are coming. They're gonna be introduced as soon as remote identification is in place. So once you see remote ID come out, then shortly after that, we'll see the rules come out about flying at night and, and the training that we're gonna to have to go through. Now the hobbyists as well as commercial drone pilots are gonna to have to go through that training. And personally, I don't think it's gonna be that difficult to complete the training. You know, some people are all worried about it's gonna be difficult, but I really don't think it's gonna be that hard. And so once, once that's out and once you've completed that, then you're gonna be able to fly at night. Now, up until today, there's been a few choices out there for anti-collision lighting for your drones, but they're pretty unremarkable. They're not reliable and they're not well built. From a lot of the things that I've read on the forums, you know, they look good on paper, but when you get them, they don't perform like they say they're going to. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna talk about is what is the definition of an anti-collision light? Well, basically there's four standards. There's four things that it has to be able to qualify as an anti-collision light. First of all, it has to be flashing. It has to be a strobing light. It can't be a constant light. It needs to be going off and on just like this one. The second thing is that it must be red or white and so the loom cube itself is white and then they give you two caps they give you a red cap and so that one is red and then they also give you a green cap now I'm not sure why they actually give you a green cap but um, but I guess maybe it's fun to fly with a green light but to officially qualify as an anti-collision it needs to be red or white the third thing is it must it must be visible from 360 degrees so from any direction that you're viewing the drone you should be able to see the strobing light and then the last requirement is that it must be visible for up to three statute miles now one thing that i wanted to test out tonight which i'm not going to be able to do is uh, i wanted to drive three miles away i was going to have my wife launch the drone from home and then see if i could see the um, loom cube strobe flashing but it's actually starting to sprinkle right now you might be able to see it on camera and it's supposed to thunderstorm all night so i'm not going to be able to do that tonight but i am going to try it tomorrow night or possibly the following night and when i get that footage i'm actually going to post that on instagram so if you're not following me on instagram and you want to see what the loom cube looks like flying at night on the mavic 2 pro be sure to follow me on instagram the other reason is because i'm a part 107 pilot i can't legally post night footage on my youtube channel because this is a monetized video and so posting it on instagram i'm okay so the biggest thing that i want you to get out of this portion of the video is that these lights right here these these lights these lights <laughs> these lights right here the navigation lights on your drones they don't count as anti-collision lights just this one right here flashing off and on in red or white and if you're thinking that your loom cubes count those wonderful beautiful loom cubes that you got for your drone they don't count as anti-collision lights either because you can't see them from 360 degrees. Even if you have it on strobe and you have them mounted with, with, um, with a loom cube mount on your drone, they don't count as anti-collision. So after saying all that, what do you need? Well, it's right here in this box. This is the loom cube strobe. 
It's just being released today and it is the brightest, the lightest, and most importantly, probably the best built anti-collision light that you can get for your drone. Honestly, I think this will be the standard when it comes to anti-collision lighting because you can put it on any drone, any existing drone right now, this little thing's gonna go on. And the other reason I think it's gonna be the standard is because LumCube makes no shortcuts when they design something and when they produce something. Like, you know, I did a test last winter on these, these LumCube, the original LumCubes, and it was uh, 33, degree, 33 degrees below Celsius. And it lasted for three and a half hours in that temperature. And so, you know, if LumCube is making something, it's something that's gonna be good. So let's go ahead and open this box and take a look at the package. You gotta love FedEx. I don't know, at least it got here, right? Sometimes I don't get uh, stuff from UPS for three days after I'm supposed to get it. So let's go ahead and open the box to see what's in it. I got a second angle camera here, so I don't have my overhead rig uh, completed yet, so you're gonna have to view it from the side. But... So here's what we have. There's the box. Thank you, FedEx, again. Look at that. Uh, well, hopefully this is durable enough to withstand FedEx. <laughs> All right. That's it. Oh, Loom Cube sticker. Comes with every Loom Cube product that you get. So get rid of that. So there is the box. I'll hold it up here to the second angle. All right, let's crack it open. It's kind of cracked open already. <laughs> All right, so put that right there. How about right there? All right, in the box, here's what you get. You get the strobe, you get a red cap, you get a green cap. I'll hold it up there too so you can take a better look at it. All right, the strobe, the green cap, the red cap. So, and you also get a micro USB cable. Now the Loom Cube strobe is charged by using micro SB and on the highest setting, like on the, on the uh, fast strobe setting, it will last for two hours, which is pretty incredible for something this size and with this much intensity of light. I think that's pretty amazing that it lasts for two hours. And then you get the um, 3M dual lock. Now, the way that the um, LumCube strobe mounts on your drone is it uses the dual lock from 3M. So you can be confident that when you put this on your drone, it's not going anywhere. And then secondly, you wanna make sure when you install it on your drone that you're not gonna put it somewhere where it's gonna interfere with any moving parts of your drone. So let's, I'm gonna go ahead and install it on the Mavic 2 Pro right now. So we got the Mavic 2 Pro and I'm gonna put it on the top. Now you can mount it on the top, you can mount it on the bottom. I actually, on the Mavic 2 Pro, I would not mount it on the bottom because it's gonna interfere with any of the sensors and the lights and things like that. So on the Mavic 2 Pro, you're gonna have to put it on top. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so let's pop this little sucker out. Oh my gosh, this thing is just, it's ridiculous light. It weighs less than a AAA battery. A AAA battery weighs more than this thing. Isn't that crazy? 10, I think 10 grams is what it is. It does come with instructions right there. So in case uh, someone's not watching this video right now on how to install it, it does come with instructions. So let's go ahead and put on the dual lock. Now I have never used anti-collision lighting on my drones. Um, I did fly at night a couple of times as a hobbyist um, because you can fly as a hobbyist, but at the time I did not know uh, I'm, I'm claiming ignorance. I did not know that you needed anti-collision lighting. I thought that the navigation lights were adequate. Uh, I thought they would count, but they don't. And so for those of you that want to fly at night, just be sure to know that you do need anti-collision lighting, even if you're a hobbyist. So, wow, the dual lock is amazing stuff. So we're going to go ahead and peel that off right there. And I don't think it really matters what which direction you put it, but I'm gonna put the narrow end towards the front. I'm gonna place it right in the middle. And we'll put it right there. So I mount it right there, and then you're gonna put the other dual lock on the bottom. Let's go ahead and do that. Right there. All right, so it places on your drone just like that. So 
you saw there that I tapped the top. Now this is a one button control. You don't have to worry about anything on this light except the top button right there. It's kind of like, remember that old game, um, Trouble, <laughs> where you pop it and then you go that many spaces? That's kind of what it's like. So to check to see if your Loom Cube strobe is charged, you just tap it and it's gonna blink twice. That lets you know that it is fully charged. Now to turn it on, you wanna press and hold for three seconds and that will put it into fast strobe mode. Now, 99% of the time, this is gonna be the mode, wow, I can't even look at it. <laughs> this is gonna be the mode that you're gonna to wanna to use. You wanna use the fast strobe because it is the most visible. Holy cow, you cannot look directly at this thing. And then what you wanna do is tap it. If you tap it again, now it's gonna go into slow strobe mode. I'm seeing spots right now. <laughs> so don't look directly at the light. So slow strobe mode, and then if you tap it one more time, that puts it into continuous mode. So now that does not count as anti-collision because it does need to be strobing. So, uh, and then if you tap it again, that's gonna put it back into fast mode. Now to turn it off, you hold it down for three seconds and that turns it off. Now to install the caps, we're gonna put the red cap on here. Pretty simple, snaps right on just like that. I tapped it, it shows us that it's on. Now when the cap's on, you just hold for three seconds and now the red I can actually look at a little bit. So there is fast strobe, tap it again. There's slow strobe, tap it for continuous and hold for three seconds and it turns off. Like I said, I think this is gonna be the standard when it comes to anti-collision lighting. Um, it's lightweight, it's very well built. It lasts for two hours on the highest mode. You can flash in white or red, you can do continuous, and it's not gonna affect the dynamics of flying your drone at all. So if you do any kind of a night flying, this is what you're gonna need to be able to do that and follow all regulations by the FAA. So if you're interested in getting one, there is a link in the description where you can purchase it. And if you happen to use that link, that's an affiliate link and it does help out the channel and that's always greatly appreciated. I'll also put a link to the LoomCube website so you can get more information on the strobe. And also if you wanna just comment your questions to me, I can contact contact LoomCube and they're really good about getting back to me very quickly. Also in the comments, let me know what you think of the studio. Like I said, it's gonna change. It's gonna morph as we go along. I'm gonna do different positions. I'm gonna do different lighting, um, you know, some different audio and things like that. So it was gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a long process, but hopefully within a month, I'm gonna have it all finalized. But let me know what you think. I value your opinion. If this video gave you anything of value today, please click on that thumbs up on your way out. I wanna thank you for watching today. Have a wonderful day. As always, fly safe and fly smart. People, y'all get ready. This is for everybody. Try to catch up, we are here Let me introduce to you Try to catch up, we are here That future here